International like Tag Must Day <laughs> Awareness Day on June twentieth brings attention to a condition that can cause severe vision problems amongst other concerns. Now, the, the day aims to bring tools, resources, and opportunity for education to the forefront. Those with um, nystagmus, I think I'm pronouncing it right, face a variety of challenges. Now, this condition may cause severe vision problems, causing them to be legally blind. Um, so because um, the eye movement sets them apart from others, they often face um, self-image and social issues. The day aims to alleviate some of these concerns by increasing awareness and erasing the stigma. While no cure exists, treatments include contact lenses, glasses, medication, and even surgical intervention. As with many conditions, early intervention is very important. Now, a physician will determine the type and the cause of nystagmus and um, determine the best approach to the treatment. So, in case you did not know, this is one day you need to be aware of. I need to know what the cause of this, um, uh, whatever is this condition, <laughs> medical <laughs> condition. <laughs> I'm trying to understand it. But hey... The eyes are very important. How often do you check your eyes? No. Rarely. I have to check mine all the time because I read a lot. Lawyers are always reading. So, yeah. And as a child, I suffered, suffered from astigmatism, so light. Even now, I don't have my glasses with me, so I'm struggling. I have to, that problem too. Yeah, it's astigmatism. So it's too much light from my phone, too much light in from the, the sun studio. It me. In Horrible. the studio as well. So sometimes, that's why you see sometimes I'm looking at the wrong camera mm -hmm. because it's the closer one and it's easier for me to, to see. see. Oh, yeah. So that's why. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So for me, I do a lot of checkup. But again, I mean, one of the checkups I did recently, they said my eyes was presenting like, uh, what's it called now? glaucoma and all of that but <gasps> i now did further tests and i said no it's, it, it was wasn't clear. but you know when you do the often test especially because i knew it wasn't glaucoma because glaucoma somehow has some hereditary traits so somebody in your family must have it you know yeah. to be able to it's not just it doesn't really come out of the blue you know so i well, knew it was it started out well, it was of the still blue yeah. the first time well true yeah <laughs> but i just knew that it's not a bad idea to rule it out so i did yeah. call thorough um yeah, i think you should eye. continue a to lot of us it. don't pay attention to our eyes and eyes is one thing that you can just wake up literally and you're blind really yes that's how it, it happens, happens. Yeah. just wake up and yes you're blind. so but you see it it doesn't present any you don't have any Same issues terms. nothing so that's but why, see yeah. Mm. Some itchness, no, redness, trust some me. If it's glaucoma, they said there is no. You just wake up one morning. And so then you're blind. that's why you need to just go for your regular checks. You know, mm. Nigerians until the thing they pain you. Yeah, we don't. We don't <laughs> move. We don't pay attention. Get older, also our sight. Yeah. yeah. So you Many have to. Yes, you have clarity. to. And then for us, where they do eyelashes and contact lens. Duh, don't touch it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just saying that we need to pay extra attention yeah, to our eyes. Him, don't don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, okay. so who are we starting with, Milola? What did you what find for us I in the news? the news? We're talking about mm. politics. So everything centers around governance, politics, election. Now the Peter Obi support group are seeking for improved registration infrastructure. They're not just talking about improving the number of increase in the number of days, but they actually want INEC to make more effort to ensure that there's adequate support to allow people register effectively. Mm. And this is some of the things that I noticed while I was in my own town running my own for my primaries. And part of the challenges is, even though these people make it easier by going word to word, but then there's still an aspect of, okay, we need to do mobilization of people. They need some feeding logistics. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of things that hinders people to go register for their PVC. So they are calling for an expansion and also improved infrastructure to allow for better registration. But beyond and above that for me, I believe it's not about just getting the PVC, but actually sensitizing people enough to know yeah. the reason why they should go out and vote. Mm. So pretty much that's what I found in today's news from Punch newspaper. Awesome. That was dated today. Awesome. It's very important. Honestly, I just wish we can get it right. You know, we don't have all those issues. I mean, I was trying to monitor the kitty elections and it was just too many funny, funny things. Very nasty. <laughs> Stories I were full. Many so, people having uh, driving and yeah, it was, that's it what was happened crazy. in politics. Yeah. That's what happened in politics. As well. Manny, your story. Reverend Okotie asked Obi, Tinubu, and others to step down for him, says he wants to succeed Buhari. 
So the Reverend. founder of Household of God Church, Reverend Chris Okote, has asked leading presidential candidates, candidates in the country to step down for him so he can succeed. President Buhari, addressing journalists at his church in Oregon, Ikeja, while celebrating his 63rd birthday anniversary, Okoche said that he is the right person to right the wrongs in the country. The cleric also proposed to become the interim president, claiming it is the solution to the country's many challenges. Okoche said, I want to appeal to all presidential candidates to withdraw from the race and allow, allow me to come in as an interim president. I want to implore Asiwaju to support my government <laughs> for the betterment of the country and tell Obi that the system that introduced him cannot take him anywhere. We must also get rid of the national and state assemblies because maintaining each member costs the country billions of naira. Mm -hmm. Some of the standing committee at both assemblies are not useful to the country. They are only representing themselves and not the populace, which is true. Ministers and commissioners should also be expunged because Nigeria's democracy ah. has been hijacked <laughs> by the elites for their this interests is, is and they are deceiving the downtrodden who don't know anything. And the most important of all is our constitution. It should be changed to a people-oriented constitution, not the military one we have now. So that is Reverend Okote. I like his audacity. No, he didn't participate in any primaries. <laughs> I, I know, he didn't participate <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. Just wake up and just, just, you know, and that's, why, that's why I use the word audacity. Like, who does, does this? Who oh, wakes up in Nigeria the morning too. and just says, I'm the guy for you. Okay, yeah. Okote does it. <laughs> and Okote then he's going to scrap it. every I'm, existing I'm the structure. One you need. I'm telling you. Because we believe they haven't said Do you understand? Well. Very interesting. I, so, well, thank God it wasn't a vision. Like, it wasn't told. This is what God, he, God did not tell him. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this is what he wants. So, so breaking news, down. in case you have not seen the cues <laughs> yet, the fuel scarcity, fuel, uh, what's it called, has resurfaced. And a lot of um, we we experienced a lot of gridlock in um, in Lagos today. You know, the f the queues are back. I'm not sure what the real issue is because mm. I know that over it's the a, um, by uh, as at last week they increased the price of diesel to 1,500 now. That was what? the news that broke. Yeah, no, so that they were going to increase, to increase it, but it now rather. It's at 1,000. Okay, what? so today, yeah. that they were going to increase it to 1,005. Mm. So I thought maybe the the wahala would have been on diesel. Fuel yeah. wasn't touched, but when I now I started seeing so many fuel, fuel um, queues well, for petrol. Well. I'm, I'm just wondering. So this is just to mention it. So would would uh, follow that story to see you know what the real reason for this um, what's it called is. All right. So let's take a break now. Let's discuss women, right, and their relevance in the political terrain in Nigeria. Stay with us. We'll be right back.